I designed green buildings for over 20 years. One day, 10 years ago, one day I asked myself, what is green? So then I realized nature is the best green. I start to look at nature. How does nature work? So my first target is food because food is a common language to, every, to many people's group, to many community, right? I use half of my office, no window. I was able to grow everything, using fish, grow pepper, grow tomato, grow everything. I was not a farmer, I've never been a farmer, but it works. That's how I start my journey. So fish, right? Fish produce waste. When the waste going down here, we have what we call a biofilter here. Uh, then we learn how nature works. We are not using regular mechanical filter. It's a natural wetland here. When the fish waste con contact the, uh, the biofilter, right? Microbes or bacteria break down the fish waste. Mainly from fish waste is ammonia. The uh, microbes will break it down to nitrites, NO2, and then nitrates, and NO3. Nitrates is, is the nutrients for the root of the vegetables. So it means fish waste, break down by the microbes, nitrites and nitrates dissolve into water. We have a pump, pump the water up, and then we have a drain pipe, the water will come down. So it's a closed loop of water. We all talk about food security. We know it's a big issue, right? But don't you think food security is only 25% of the entire food problem? Let me explain. Well, we understand food security means where is the food? Right now, food security has to do with a lot with logistics. Let's say the farmer, you know, they grow good food, but then the food has to transport from where the farms into the plate. A lot of logistics problem there. We import a lot of food, just like, you know, the, uh, you understand the uh, BC port. So we bring food sources to people's house to do, deal with the food security. Two, food safety. That's a big problem because even pests, they won't eat the plant because they know that if they eat them, they will die. But who are eat, eating those plants? You and me. <laughs> Pesticide is a huge problem. But, but then you said, you know, well, Phil, what can we do? Organic crops is too, too expensive. They're not accessible to many people. Organic. We are teaching everybody how you can grow organic. We use organic way to, to for, for, in terms of fertilizer, pest management, and the, the entire setup. We follow exactly the Canadian organic protocol. Third, diversity. UN said one of the primary driver of depth is missing food diversity. Because of nutrients, of vitamins, minerals, everything, we need all these more than just carbohydrates and meat or proteins, okay? Food diversity. Lastly, food responsibility. People are growing food by using a lot of fertilizers. All these fertilizers going down to the groundwater. You destroy the soil, you destroy the land. Many people use a lot of water. You remember na last year in California, they have to make a big decision. The limited supply of fresh water going to farm, farmland, or people. And of course, it has to go to people, right? So, but then they have to cut off a lot of the farmland. There's not enough water. With this one, you save over 90% of of water. All four together is what we call food sovereignty. Security, safety, diversity, responsibility. All four together called food sovereignty. This is what, what we do here.
So this is Anyway. A watercress. Yes. So of the dinosaur supposed to look like that. What a nice package. From you. What do you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not eating it. Mm -hmm. It's a cell. We have. Well, I was saying, like, yeah, like, what do you do? Yeah, you can do. Actually, it's exactly like a chair. Another. It's okay. Just don't get it to a chair.